Hi guys, this is just a quick video on how to share a Google Doc file with your partners and this is important when you're working on tech projects so that you can ask them to look it over and see if they find any mistakes and so that you can do that for them as well. So the first part of that process would be to go into your Google Drive and find the document in question. So that would probably be for you something like your Tech One copy. I have a few different versions of that here, so I could do that. I actually have a file I want to say, uh, share with you guys right now. It's just uh, the links page, and I'm going to put that in an email. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. I find the document I want. In your case, it would be your tech project one or two or three, or whatever it is you're sharing. And if you right click on that with the mouse and you click on share, I've already set this up for sharing, so it's showing me a link. But if you haven't done that yet, what you would do is click on Advanced. And yours will probably say, like, it's private, only you can view it. So you click on Change, and you click the one I have selected here that you're turning on sharing and that anyone with the link can share it. Um, I don't use this one because anyone in the world can find it here. It's only people we send the link to. And then I would click on Save. If you only want your partner to be able to view it and you do not want them to be able to download it, print it, or copy it, then you could check these boxes. Um, I, I usually leave those alone, but if you wanted to do that, you could. And then the link that you'd want to share shows up here. So it's already highlighted probably, so just right click on that with the mouse and choose copy. And then you can go ahead and say done here. And then what you would do is open up your email. In this case, I'm going to send an announcement to the class through Blackboard, but this would work the same if it was an email program. And I've written my message here already, and then I've put the note, I've pasted a link to the Math 43 links page below. And you remember, I just copied that a moment ago, so click where I want that to go. I see the cursor flashing there. And then I just right click and choose paste. And where is it? I don't see it. Let me try that again. Let me try Control V, see if that works better. Yeah, that worked. So for some reason, the right click paste didn't work. So I just did Control V. Usually when I'm doing things and I'm not doing a video, I just do Control V. So I had never noticed that before. But then that link is there. And if this is an email, you could click send here. This would be submit. I actually have some things to set up before I send this message, so I'm not going to do that just yet. And when they get this in their email box, it'll probably show up as a clickable link. If it doesn't, then they can highlight it and copy it and paste it into their browser up here, and it'll take them to that document, and they can look it over. And if they see some mistakes, they can give you some feedback, and then you could do the same for them. So. That's how I share documents in Google Docs is I create that shareable link and then I email it to people. There's other ways to do it too. Um, this way allows you to share it with somebody and they don't have to log in and you don't need to like know their Google account information. So it's kind of a useful way to share it if you don't know everything you might need to about that other person's account. All right, hopefully that's helpful in the file sharing. You know, you could always meet in person and take care of this stuff, but if um, your schedules don't allow and you want a way to be able to communicate and see each other's work, this is one way to do it. All right, I hope that helped.